Canva is a web-based um, program. It's a graphic design tool that allows for the creation of various graphic um, products or materials. So in, um, in Canva, it's not just an infographic that you might design, but rather um, a whole host of, of different design templates and options. So, you know, a Twitter post, a presentation, a Facebook app, an invitation, a resume, a certificate, all kinds of um, various templates for some sort of graphic production. I would say it's, it's, it's similar to Photoshop without having too much experience with Photoshop, without that fear of, of Photoshop and the learning curve that comes with it. But I'm not a Photoshop user, so I say that hesitantly. In Canva, as I mentioned, it offers some customizable layouts. It offers a variety of icons or images that you can add to your um, creation. It has um, the ability to then edit, you know, change the color or change the layout, the size and shape of various components. And Canva also then has the ability to um, support some collaboration between user accounts. So, of course, you create your own account, you start designing on your own, but then you can connect with other user accounts to share um, the graphic designs that you are, that you are making. <coughs> In a nutshell, and as an overview, uh, of course, you create an account at, um, at the website canva.com. You then select from those various types of um, designs, depending on what it is that you'd like to create, which then gives you either a variety of templates to start working and editing upon, or um, you can build completely from scratch. It just gives you your blank canvas. You can add on a template, or you can just start building. And what exactly do you build with? All of the elements that you see here on the left-hand menu. So um, to give you a sense and to click through some. Elements, um, the various options there include, you know, photos, various layout grids, shapes, icons, charts, lines, etc. Text gives you a variety of um, sort of standard text or templated options. Backgrounds would then change the background color or sort of textile. And then uploads, um, you're able to bring in information. Uh, so you'll see here I've brought in a variety of, of icons or photos that I then can use on my designs. I mentioned previously that um, there's some ability to collaborate and share. I would say this is probably, in comparison to some of the other tools out there that support infographics development, um, Canva has a leg up in terms of the ability to collaborate and share. So um, sure, you can share, you can post your design to social media like Facebook uh, and Twitter. You can share a link that, um, that simply shares your design with someone, shows that design to someone. But then there's also the ability to share with um, editing capabilities. So you would then share with a team um, of people. You would invite others to either view or edit that content. There's a bit of a caveat in that it's not fully um, capable yet to support uh, synchronous collaboration. So we were just testing it out today, where um, if I shared a design with Andrea um, and went to go edit some of those materials, it told Andrea that, hold on, don't make any changes, because Warren's making changes. It, there's two different versions going here. So um, I've heard, I've read that Cam is working on that more colla synchronous collaborative design that would work very much like Google Documents, where you see an update happening live. Um, but of course, that's, there's also the ability to then download your materials. So um, earlier today, I downloaded this as a PDF. It maintains the dimensions of your download. Um, but there's also the option for JPEG. Uh, PNG, um, and there's also some options for introducing crop marks and key marks for if people were interested in, um, in more like high quality printing. But for infographics, I would say it's more the PNG, the, the, P, the JPEG, and PDF downloads that uh, are attractive because then it can be shared 
say even through OWL, through the assignments tool, and, and upload it that way. Um, so, I mean, I mentioned, too, in terms of the learning curve, it's, it's not overly steep. It's a fairly intuitive tool to start using. One of the cool things um, that I found when exploring this is a um, specific tutorial for infographics. So it kind of walks a, a beginner user through some of the, um, the steps of learning how to work with shapes. So, for example, in this slide, it's showing you um, that you could place this white box behind the number one to make it pop out. And it's asking you over here to then um, find a white box in your elements, bring it over into here, make it the appropriate size, change the, um, the, the arrangement so that it's behind the number seven. And it helps in terms of, do you need a kit? Here's a little video to show you how to do that. So it's great in terms of onboarding, um, not only for yourself as an instructor, but possibly to suggest to students if they're looking for a bit of a, a quick tutorial to get them up to speed in terms of the various 